your boy Money Mark guy here, chilling um, with a couple of special fellas. One fella before in pre-production told me that he has a new name that he liked to unveil. So the rest of us, take it away. So I just figured, you know, <clears throat> it was only right that Lifestyle Flashy Chris came back. So your boy Lifestyle Flashy is here. Okay, yeah. so um, are you okay, gonna explain? Me to, off, like, are you gonna explain? I no, I just you know you're doing so well. I just wanted to make sure that you uh, you continued on the right trajectory. Um, are you going to explain to the people who Lifestyle Flashy Chris is? Um, some of oh. us may not know who you are. I just, you know. Lifestyle Flashy Chris was a uh, persona I created in college. Uh, okay, it got me all of my girls. It got me through oh. a lot of tough times. <laughs> it's a flashy. It's a flashy Chris. It's the Chris that that make got shit done. All right. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I ain't got none of that. <laughs> I got me. Oh. It's just Tim. Oh, okay. Oh. JT, baby. <laughs> well, Tim, whenever you decide to introduce some like old personas of when you went to state and won the championship, uh, just let me know, and we can just go ahead and toss it in here, and we can, you know, we can do all that. I guess. You know, here at Logical Crazy Talk, we just get to live out your dreams. Amazing, 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 amazing. Well, guys, how's everybody doing today? Peachy. Man. Today's good. You see, you see what happens now? Because everyone's trying to race to say something. Because before we're like, uh, huh. Anyways, Tim, take it away. <laughs> no, I'm chilling. Um, got the day off. MLK, you know. Are you the day off too? I'm yeah. Awesome. I was like, oh man, I ain't never. And man, I know, dude. I mean, it was cool having it off, but I ain't do anything for real. Like, felt like Sunday, like a second yeah, Sunday, basically. And it was a second Sunday, a second Sunday indeed, a second Sunday to remember. Um, yeah, it's you know, like I said, it was. Um, I mean, my day was all right, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't tripping. I didn't uh, do too much, I guess. Um, I got a black shirt on. <laughs> that's what is I that, feel it. Is that that's a, what, that's is what that I did for appreciation. <laughs> that's what I did for the cause. <laughs> and then tomorrow's the first day of like a new job. And then, um, uh, you know, I just run the errands. So t- today's the first day I dropped off uh, the little one to the grandparents for the day. So, you know, getting used to that shit. So, you know. Um, I didn't really do too much, not for real. I just uh, returned some stuff, bought some stuff, reflected, you know what I'm saying? Hug up some, you know, powerful flags, you know what I'm saying, on my walls. That's it. It's chill. That's all That's I did. a very productive day, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a, I mean, you know, I mean, it's better than, what'd you do again today? Me? Yeah. Girls, uh, hung out, uh. That's it. I hung out with the kids and grilled. Grills. Okay. Well, all right. That's uh that was very productive. That was sweet and awesome. Anyways, so did you guys have a chance to partake and watch anything going on in the sports world? Have you guys been like glued to the TV? I mean, we had an extended weekend, so nah. Um, well, we watched the Chiefs, you know, KC up in here. Bringing it home. Um, yeah, your man's got almost knocked out, boy. He couldn't stand up for a second. He oh, is knocked man. out, actually. <laughs> that, Ooh, that, about, that, um, that city. That, uh-huh. Yeah, it was a concussion, the concussion? Yeah, Yeah, it was a concussion yeah. protocol. That's, that's literally the definition of getting knocked out. Yeah. That nigga's yeah. eyes glazed over. <laughs> he didn't know where he was it, at. It, it happens, you know. He yeah, has money so. to... to to, to what? <laughs> to, re- to live again? Yeah. To regain his conscience? Yeah. He's good. Okay. Okay. Well, you know. Just another it's day in the life CTE, of a great. You know it is? CTE is just, just a little CT. You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just a, just a little splash. Just I mean, if he was day, he'd be all right. back in the day, he would have been back on the field in no time. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, back in the day, what? Yeah, you're right. You know right. what I'm saying? Back in Whatever. the old days. Give him a yeah. shot. Put him back out there. <laughs> yeah. But no, sure. another great, um, I guess, game was uh, the one tonight with the Nets. Oh, okay. And so, uh, Giannis and company. It's funny that you bring that up because I was just about to ask you guys. So, in general, like, y'all hear about what happened? 
mm. about the whole trading and or what, what part there's a lot going on with the nets right now <laughs> all right well I mean, I mean i'm pretty sure everybody knows what's going on so the brooklyn nets just inked a deal um signing james harden um they had to give up carol's levert i believe carol's levert is on um indiana now they had to give up jared allen and a couple draft picks and they just Whole bunch of moving pieces all over the place. I think uh, the the Houston Rockets has Oladipo for now. Uh, apparently, this well, no, there's rumors that he's still trying to get moved again. So, where's he <laughs> trying to go? Uh, where's apparently, he apparently, apparently, he wants to go to Miami. That's where he wants to go. That's just no. Nah, they got a lot. They got a lot of guards on that team already. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, but I mean, I guess he's going to be the more sure Tyler Hero. I don't know. That, that's just rumors. I mean, none of the, like, you know, Woj or none of the main, you know, I know sports guys have said anything about it. So we don't really know, essentially, right now. So we'll wait and see. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so, you know, what do y'all think? Super team? What do y'all think nah. about the super team? I don't think it's a super team. Not yet. You think it's a super team? Not yet. You got Kyrie. You got KD. You got James Harden. Just another solid three. Yeah, so it's just like Miami. Their first year, they didn't win. They had it takes time for those for them to find kind of figure each other out and you know really be a team. Because right now it's just three great people that have to figure out how to distribute the ball correctly, or you know have a good solid plan. Because right now it's, they're good. They're all going to be good. So it's like cool. What's the plan? So that's what it's like when it gets when it's time for the playoffs to hit, they'll fold or some shit. They'll do something stupid. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, listen, it's going to be, I think they're going to be regular season killers, definitely for sure. Um, they're definitely, I, I see them making it to Eastern <clears throat> Conference final. Um, I think that team was already good at a good um, to make a run before they did all that. I think this deal was done as an insurance policy, just in case uh, your boy uh, Kyrie, uh, I don't know, they have to avoid that dude's con- um, contract or he goes, um, he goes crazy. I don't know. Like, depending on, I mean, what you think or how your, your opinions are with the whole Kyrie thing, it's just, um, I think that's why they pulled the trigger on that, which, by the way, I mean, for the Nets, it's like, I, I know James himself is feeling like very, very grateful for Kyrie and, you know, him going off the deep end, I guess. Well, some people feel like going off the deep end. Um, I think that's interesting. What are your thoughts on that? And how that all came about. I I just think he hasn't been right since Kobe. The boy been he's been a little off since Kobe. A little off. (laughs) No, I'm just I I think it has a lot to do with it. I think like he's probably thinking about basketball in like a different sense now. If you like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's one of those people that you know, he thought the world the well he thinks that earth is flat. So it's like he's one of those people that think and think and think and will think himself into some shit. So Instead of just being a ball player, you know what I'm saying? He's just like, you know, life is more than basketball. So he's probably on that, you know, I have enough money. I just enjoy the game. I don't want it to be a, like I sell my soul for this game type shit. I mean, he is thanking. (laughs) He definitely doing a lot of thanking. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) Thanking. Go thank that his thank his way into not having a job. I mean, if there ever was a replacement, I mean, James Harden's a hell of a replacement. No. It's a, a hell of a replacement. I don't think they're trying to really replace him. I just think I they're trying either. to put another big three up uh, together to bring home they something. They would have pulled the trigger sooner. I mean, he wanted to go there. Um, yeah. Houston, obviously, I mean, they gave up. Look what they gave up. They gave up Jared, um, Carol Silver. They gave up Jared Allen, and they gave up a couple of picks. That deal could have been done early on. I don't well, think we don't were. know that. You know, we don't know exactly. You know the the, the behind oh, the scenes. Down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They probably asked for other players, and it's like, okay, we can give you these draft picks now, and that yeah. probably, that could have made the difference or whatever. Something else could have made the difference because they could like they could have said, nah, you're not taking Kyrie from us, and you're not taking you're not touching these two guys. There's nothing we can do about that. Wasn't it like but a four way trade? It was a four way situation, yes. Um, but I'm just saying, like, all right, well, listen, you're right. We don't 100 percent know the backs and forths and what's going on in the conversations that are being had. Yeah, you're right. But if you follow these things and then if you, like, I mean, if you go on a, I mean, there's like, you go Adrian, if you follow Adrian Wojnarowski, I mean, usually he's breaking like 
rumors as things were happening. Like you can follow these pages and you can kind of piece it together. Is it exactly, do we know exactly what's going on? No, but I mean, according to like what the news media around it was saying, it was, the deals are cold. Basically Houston wanted, they wanted it all. And the rest of these teams acted like they didn't want to give up anything. They were trying to wait Houston Oh yeah, why, why would you, I would wait Houston out too. What is James Harden going to do? So what, what changed? So what changed? Wait, wait, like what made the deal like lucrative now? Is what I'm saying. All these, I'm saying, probably at this time they're like they're, they're looking at it like, okay, cool. We have a need, maybe that that might have been a catalyst. Okay, too. that's what I'm saying. Like they're superstar. Saying, he boxed them in the, the corner. Two. Yeah, the superstar went went off the reservation, and they're like, wait a minute, oh, we don't know where he is. Mm-hmm. Like Steve Nash was on TV talking about he didn't know. He, Looking because he looked concerned and pissed off at the same time. Like, you know, when your parents, like, you ran away, let's just say you ran away home, you did something you weren't supposed to, and your parents are relieved that you're safe, but they're looking at you like, oh, okay. <laughs> Steve Nash looked like he was going to beat his ass as soon as he sees him. He's just like, okay, yeah, I, no, I don't know where he is. I just want him to come back home. I want him to come back. <laughs> I want to come back home. We miss him. We miss him. We love him. <laughs> Just come back. <laughs> come back. So, I mean, it looked crazy. Uh, it's, it just looks like a crazy situation. Um, no one really knows why Kyrie is doing what he's doing. And then it's really just forcing a lot of the narratives based upon his not so weird, um, what people, people feel weird actions. And because of that, you're left with a situation where it's like, well, there was that superstar guy that said he wanted to play here. And, um, you know, <laughs> he drops 40 consistently, so. I mean, but I'm, I'm sure that there's a lot of crazy negotiations going, but, like, I'm I'm just imagining, like, other teams probably wanted him, but they're just like, we'll just wait Houston Rocket out. <laughs> like, well, obviously. James Harden is eventually going to just say, you know what? I'm not even going to put up 44 <laughs> points anymore. <laughs> well, obviously, I think there was, a, there was the idea that the general consensus that hey, we're going to wait Houston out because Houston was in the worst position ever because they somehow allowed word to get out that, you know, James Harden felt the way he felt. So, yeah, I mean, they were not in the best place to make a deal. I don't think they they were looking at this thing. This thing is not here partying. It didn't come to Yeah, that was James. (laughs) No, 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 but it got announced before he started doing the antics. It got out. So Russell Westbrook was like, I don't want to I don't want to play here anymore. And then right after that, James is like, I don't want to play here no, either. It was, it was James <laughs> first. James first. And then. No, uh, yeah. no, it was Russell first. I this where it was Russell first. I'm pretty sure the, the articles came. Russell wanted out first. Because even when it hit our, I mean, our group chat is not the authority. But I mean, I remember the first thing that hit our group chat was like, Russell wanted out. And then it was like, James right after, like, me too. Uh, I heard James wanted out first. And then he kind of like quieted down. And then that's when uh, Westbrook was like, all right, get me out of here. And then James was <laughs> like, okay, well, he gets out. So let me turn yeah, this I up a little that bit. Been it. I think that might have been it. Because James probably did one out, but it wasn't going to go hard like that. But when Westbrook went hard, it kind of made James go, well, if that's all I got to do, then let's do this. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I want pants too. <laughs> Y'all going to listen to me. <laughs> Would you know so the crazy part of that pants shit? too. The Man. crazy part about that shit is like, now players are gonna just do that. If I don't want to be here anymore, I'm gonna throw a tantrum. <laughs> I mean, players been doing that. Players been doing that. Players been doing that. Yeah, but you you would only wish and hope that players go, hey, you know. No. Like I appreciate the opportunity. But no, they, they don't appreciate the opportunity. Here. They don't appreciate the opportunity. That's they tough sometimes. Like, but I'm saying, like, you got to think, like, James Harden didn't think of that shit. Through. Well, maybe he don't care. Well, was like, the, the <laughs> restaurant James Harden got, everyone was like, this is the worst restaurant ever. And it's not even open yet. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you know, that's what happens when you're messing up, man. How dare you come out here and make us believe and then leave and be like, <laughs> and leave and be like, no, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm, I'm straight, dog. I mean, I tried my hardest, but, you know, your city is not good enough. Man. Nor this team. You see these guys? These are scrubs. What am I supposed like, to do? Like, and I want to let y'all know I left y'all with chlamydia. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's what's going on. What's going on in Brooklyn? <laughs> Man. 
chlamydia. Why did you? Like, where did that come from? I just said because it just seems like you, you know, I look at it like we are really in relationships with players. Like when they leave, we're hurt, like hurt, hurt. <laughs> but like, you know, some players leave and they give you a kiss on the forehead and you're like, okay, I get it. I get it. You just want to win. I get it. He <laughs> left and it's like, oh, this nigga left me an STD, huh? <laughs> this son of a bitch. <laughs> he left us with, with nobody. No, Two broken, broken niggas and, 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 and a bunch well, of point guards. <laughs> well, John Wall, I mean, honestly, I think Houston, I mean, listen, Houston's not going to be whatever. But, I mean, Houston, the C. Wood dude is pretty good. I forgot his name. I forgot his first name. But Wood is pretty good. Um, John Wall is good. Mm-hmm. We don't really know about DeMarcus. Uh, you know, I, I'm rooting for him. I'm hopefully, you know, he comes in, he I does his thing. We all are rooting for him. But yeah. just like yeah. anything else, man, Houston seems to bring the worst out in people. Yeah, man, it's all those uh, – was it turkey leg hut? Was was what's out there? All those restaurants out there, man. I don't know. Speaking of, speaking of Houston, uh, the, the 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 Adidas is coming out those T Max again. The the old joints with the stripes across them. That's one shoe I will I will get. <laughs> I don't give a damn okay. where it comes from. I gotta okay. get those. You know, you know. Congratulations. I feel it. I I'm I mean. <laughs> what? I said, I, said, I said congratulations. I didn't. Own, I didn't own a pair though, so I mean, I didn't have the memories. No, I owned all of them. I owned like the red pair, the blue pair, the white pair, and then I used to match match them. Man, the good old days. It was cool back in the day. Was it? It was it cool because Trey McGrady did an All Star game, so it was pretty cool, Mark. Fuck you. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I, I didn't say it wasn't my. <laughs> my guy, I didn't say it wasn't. I just asked the question. I was confused. How dare you disrespect Jason McGrady? Not up in here. <laughs> disrespect Jason? No, I mean, he never, I mean, did he ever make it past the first round? Mm, it don't matter. I don't, I don't think <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, you know what? You know what? You know what, Tim? That's a way better answer. <laughs> I, just matter. Wanted, I, just wanted, I just wanted to know if he made it past the first round of the playoffs. I don't, mm. just wanted. One of the greatest players in the in the league ever, so. The That's one of the greatest players in the league ever. Okay. All right. So, would you uh, put Paul Pierce over Tracy McGrady? Yes. You Okay, so you put Paul Pierce over Tracy McGrady. Yes. No, no, you said, well, I put Paul Pierce <laughs> over Tracy McGrady. No, yes. I put Tracy McGrady over Paul Pierce. Why? Because he's about a basketball. If, if, if Tracy could have not been hurt... <laughs> If you would have been injury free, he would have been would the greatest, been? one of the greatest players in the league. But like behind Kobe, like it would have been Jordan Kobe. He couldn't Jordan. win. He couldn't win. In the, he couldn't. He win. definitely he couldn't won. Win compl- yes, he couldn't play stay time. healthy. He couldn't stay healthy. Okay, that's, that's part of winning. Problem. That's part of winning. Okay, well, Mark, I'm just I trying know. to tell you, if he would have stayed healthy, he would have won. Uh, <laughs> maybe I, I think um, Houston has a curse or something because when it was him and uh, Yao, uh, Yao Ming, I was okay. like, Yao was supposed to go all the way. No, both There's of no them reason. got yeah, they got hurt. They were y'all definitely thought, gonna take that. Y'all, what? No, <laughs> no. Who? who I, mean, I never saw that. Were you following who? them? Did you? Who? Who, yes, I was, and they, I, I could tell that team that wasn't was composed. Shaq and Kobe had split up too, then, didn't they? Or were they? I think so. <clears throat> so that was a good year for them to win, actually. So I know they, they won. They got put out by the Lakers the year before with, um, yeah, with um, St- um, Steve Francis. I know that happened, and then the following year, um, I still didn't see them beating the Lakers for whatever reason. Um, but I mean, is that's when they split, though, right? You said that was right after year that year they split. Is that what you're saying? Was that the year? Whatever so right year after they got split. right after um, they got put out the first round, did the and the Lakers won the championship that year? Did is that the year that coach? They had Kobe like a said? huge. You say I don't know mm-hmm. what year that was because they they had a, a little spree going. Like the Lakers won like three, four okay. times in a row. <laughs> in return, I just didn't see them beating the Lakers. I didn't see them beating the Lakers. Um, <clears throat> Or I couldn't see anybody Dallas. stopping Yao Ming when he was like straight. He was soft. He was soft back then. Yao Ming didn't become Yao Ming until later. Like 
even being soft, he still got points. So it was like he was just going up and up until he got hurt. And it was just like throw away. Down him. <laughs> I didn't, I, <laughs> throw away. That never happened. I didn't that never and why do they always like let go of their big men? I never understood mm. that. Like why do they want to stick with a smaller team all the time? Because mm. Houston is just, you know, a special place. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't know. But you know, at the end of the day, like um, I don't remember there being fanfare around them that year, but I mean, I could be, you know, maybe I just wasn't. Because I mean, if 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 it's the year that if the year they got came together is the year that uh, Kobe and Shaq broke up, I think Miami won that year. And I'll be honest, I didn't know, I didn't see Miami winning, so so I guess it was kind of up for grabs that year, maybe. So um, if that's the case, well, I don't know. with with um. But going back up to like uh, the net, um, y'all think they're gonna do it or no? No, nah. this year. No, nah. um, that's gonna be rough because I mean it's it's really just gonna decide. It, like, I'm trying to see what happens when Kyrie comes back. I think it's interesting that Kyrie like disappeared here, was going through all these issues, and now that James is there, it's like, oh well. <laughs> hey guys, I went through everything. I'm back. Yeah. So it's just interesting to see him back now. Um, I, I'd be interested to see how they, I'd be interested to see how they necessarily deal with the dynamic of all three ball dominant. Well, no, KD can play off the ball and still drop 30, mm-hmm. but two ball dominant players, like it's just going to be interesting to see how that works. Um, honestly, oh, James Harden thing- showing that he's not that ball dominant because I mean, he was, he did his thing without having to really score for real. He still scored. Well, yeah, and uh, what I'll say, I mean, what I'll say is that um, <clears throat> one of the safety nets they have is that Katie can. He's still he's going to be consistent. Yeah. So reduce off anything. I, I think that I think that gives James Harden less stress. I think like I think he's so stressed that he has to win. He has to carry a team. That that's why he like I think he's either he's on or he's off. He's never mm-hmm. he's never consistent. He's either real hot or he's gonna be super cold. Right. And now he doesn't know. have that, that pressure. He can go, oh shit, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm gonna pass the ball to everyone. <laughs> Man. Here you go. Here you go. Here you Just go. Saying now that that's lifted off him, I hope he plays some defense. Yeah. Shit. He no. did. He was playing, <laughs> playing defense. Uh, not, not, I, I know. I didn't watch this game, but the game before that, uh, he was he was, was he? up. Yeah. Oh. Wow. He said, I don't, I don't, he said, I don't got to do all the offense now. I give you guys a little defense. <laughs> I know, uh, the owner's proud. They ain't, um, uh, does Jay Z own some of Nets or is no, that, that was, Knicks? no, that was it, was the Nets, and that was no longer, that's no longer a thing. <laughs> There's like well, a whole like, long like, sort of like record deals and shit, some shit too. Like he was signing them or. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it, he still has his, like, his management agency or something like that. He has, still has Rock Nation. Um, but I don't know, I don't know what players they have. I'm not sure. But he still has his management company that's still doing their thing in the sports world. Interesting. And boxing. But I mean, them, his involvement with them, it was, that whole Russian billionaire and all types of stuff that went out, there's a whole stuff of weird stuff that's going on with that. Okay. And, you know, I don't know, like, I'd have to go down a long rabbit hole to explain all, well, at least explain all what I think is going on. So, no, to answer your question, I don't think he's still <laughs> a majority or an owner at all. At all. But I, I'm glad that you brought up Jay. Um, so, you know, one of the things that we do like to do here, we like to, you know, give our thoughts and commentary to like, you know, what's going on in the world and, you know, kind of just discuss the things that we see. You know, current events, I guess. Um, so recently, I was um, perusing the dark hole that is YouTube, <laughs> and uh, I happened to see a clip that um, all of the content that I partake was kind of talking about, and it was derived towards Young Thug, right? So Young Thug was talking about his catalog. He's talking about who he is and how big of a person he is. Now, Young Thug is never like. He's not someone that's like always on my Spotify. He's he's not typically like I um I like like a couple songs. I don't really so I, when he was saying the things he was saying, it wasn't really necessarily resonating to me. But you know, um, last episode we established I'm old and washed, 
So I figured, you know, since I'm going to talk to my younger counterparts here, I figured I'd ask them what they thought. So Young Tug was talking about his catalog and he was, you know, popping shit. He was basically saying like, look, you know, not too many, you're not going to see too many artists like myself where everybody knows all the songs by like 30 songs and everybody knows the songs and are singing the songs. And he said, made a statement, which I don't necessarily think is really directed at Jay-Z, but it's like, Jay-Z ain't got that. And it was just like, hmm, that's, that's odd. You know what I mean? Like, that's, odd, that's an odd thing for Young Thug to say. So, I don't know, I just want to put it on the floor. Like, what do you guys think of that? Like, I know he's, feature-wise, he's featured very heavily. He's been featured every heavily since I'm a stoner. But about Young Thug. Yeah, he's been featured every very heavily. But I mean, you know, I'm not too familiar with his projects. Like, there's a lot of things going on that I just didn't, you know, I wasn't, I didn't hear him my earways like that for real. So, I wanted to see what y'all thought. Maybe I'm just old, and you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I mean, to compare those two, I couldn't. Like, just overall because of like the business side and like the influence that Jay-Z had on music and business and everything. Um, but with, I don't know, with uh, Young Thug, I guess I'm kind of in the same boat. I mean, I, I listened to him a little a little more, I guess. Like what, what was his last one? Like, uh, uh, was it Blind or something like that? Well, I have a young thug fan. I feel you. Anyways, continue. I mean, I already <laughs> said that, so thanks for repeating me. But uh, hey, whatever, bro. Whatever, so, bro. Just... Um, but no, no, I, I did follow the story, and so he was like saying he was just like basically telling Jay Z like I don't want those internet problems. Like I was just talking too fast, and mm. I was just internet, saying, what, what are the internet problems? <laughs> you want them? <laughs> like everybody like started. So everybody got that clip. It was one of these sound clips of like. What does Jay-Z have? Jay-Z don't have uh, 30 songs to go against mine. And then like two lines later, he was like, no, nah, I mean, Jay-Z got music. He had like 50 plus songs, da, da, da. He but did say that. It, he did say that. They they just cut and it Just out. like every other media, that's like every other content provider, I purposely omitted it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> purposely like, omitted it. Come like, on How dare me. this? How dare he think? Exactly. Well, honestly, so there's speculations uh, that he's not talking about Jay. Um, he's talking about, he is talking about someone, someone who's exalted very high in rap, but apparently it's not Jay. Apparently it's someone, I, I think the speculations, it, it might be Drake. I don't know. I don't, you know, I, I'm not an insider. We haven't uh, gotten our insider badge yet. You know, one day, you know what I'm saying? Let us know, you know what I'm saying? Come to the event, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyways, uh, but <laughs> some people were saying it was like to Wayne. I think Wayne, was like mm. still. I mean, that's really weird because he tried to sound like Wayne. <laughs> like that. Was well, no, they have their own. They have their own like thing going on. Like there's a thing going on between them two. Uh -huh. Like a thing, thing. Like I think under the scenes things have happened. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know the thing about um, you know the the streets and hip hop is that like you know. There's so many things that are in folklore and so many things are in real life. So you don't really necessarily know what's essentially going on. Like one minute is like, you know, like, you know, remember, like, remember when 50 Cent came out and there was all this, like, <laughs> he got shot. Yeah, yeah no one's seen a bike. No one, no one has ever heard of By a real gangster. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, this is <laughs> real? It was, it was a real thing. It was like, it, I think we're fascinated with this. So. It's funny because it was just like, wait a minute, it's real? And I thought, wait, it was like the entire time, I thought we thought the other things was real. But it's like, for You're some right. reason, we know, like, wait a minute, that's like real. That's real, real. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember when I think I was what? I had to be, I don't know, 10, 11, maybe younger than that. When I, that's all I knew about him. And we're like, you heard about 50 Cent? Like, yeah, he got shot nine times. <laughs> that's the only thing I knew. But it sounded so cool. And then I was like, he could be like the reincarnation of Tupac because Tupac died from nine bullets and he took nine bullets and lived. <laughs> so, you went yeah. there with it, huh? I did. <laughs> you went there, I was, you went there with it, huh? <laughs> you went there. <laughs> okay. I was, well, I was like, man. oh, yeah. That's how you're feeling. So, you know, hey, right. you know, we had to, we got to encourage you, man. I mean, I get it. Um, I didn't, I didn't catch that, but I mean, 
that was just me, you know, maybe I didn't know the science. But uh, yeah, so it's just interesting. Like, I guess there was some things going on between them two. So it could be Wayne, but I just don't think, I don't know. Like at the end of the day, it was just interesting to see like um, the talk and to watch people like, watch people essentially try to weigh him against a legend, which is, you know, Jay, like, you know, it seems funny, like whenever anybody comes for Jay Z or Beyonce, like that's the thing that you don't do. Right? I always, I, I never could. Mm-hmm. It's really weird because, like, you say anything, people go crazy about that. But it's like about Beyonce, Beyonce <laughs> you or Jay Z. Talking about like, B. Oh, shit, well, <laughs> Beyonce. The, nuts. the <laughs> thoughts and opinions of lifestyle flashy Chris, <laughs> in no way in nice. shape or form, represent the thoughts and opinions of logical crazy talk <laughs> or Tim. <laughs> Money Mark. Only uh, the fella. Come on with to it. The fella. Yeah, go ahead, man. What, what you got to say, man? Oh. <laughs> now, uh, I really, I don't understand how we have been, why people consider Jay Z to be the greatest rapper alive. Personally, I don't understand that at all. I think, <laughs> honestly, I honestly believe people, I think people in, the new generation era only respects him because he's a, has money. He owns, you know, all these businesses, and that, that's what they respect, not so his catalog. They don't respect his artistry versus nah, they his business. They only, the, the, or I guess they only know. Was, I think what he was trying to say is like, yeah, they 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 don't know Jay Z like Mark knows Jay Z. Like Mark has a different care for his artistry than this new generation, right? Like I never, yeah. I wasn't in that generation of Jay-Z. He over here trying not to get canceled, look at him. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, like, you over here tiptoeing around that high. And that's not the energy you had in pre-production. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what you were saying. But if you look at Jay-Z, he's always had to have someone next to him for him to get to where he says to be. That's what he does. I, I would say that about Young Thug versus Jay-Z. Like with Jay-Z, if you look at his catalog, like a lot of them are just him on it. It might be a little somebody in the in the uh, chorus or something. Rapping, but oh, like, yeah, uh, rapping wise, yeah. I'm talking about like to get to where he's gone, gotten. He's always had to have people around him that like Kanye West was a big deal. Like that's what kind of made Jay Z the guy to go to for. Oh, if you want to get put on, Jay Z's gonna do I all this other can't stuff. Can't even say that he already I had think, this stuff going before Kanye. Yeah, but he, but he but like but if he didn't have Beyonce, he wouldn't be where he's at today. Without Beyonce, Jay Z wouldn't be Jay Z. Nah, because Jay Z had to be Jay Z to get Beyonce. So no. like Jay Z, yeah. I just I mean, don't think like, you, I just I don't, don't think he you wouldn't like him. be a billionaire if he didn't have Beyonce. Because there's a point in time where Beyonce couldn't talk about Jay Z. Okay, so I just think you don't like him, and that's fine. It's nothing I don't, don't like him. him. I just don't you understand don't, how you don't, he's because like, I don't I don't under, well because he he can make can't. He can mechanically rap better than most of the rappers that you probably like. Like the actual like mechanism, the actual way he raps, his technique that he's using to put words together this is are probably better. Like he's a, he's a cool ass, like better. slower rapper. He does have cool metaphors here and there where he makes like certain cool things. Cool metaphors so cool. here and there. He, he, he does his thing. I'm not gonna say he's, a, he's, he's, he's all right. He's, he does his thing. Like, to, be, right. <laughs> like, to be considered the greatest, like, and like, I think people just have been gone to a point where they're like, yeah, he's the greatest. Fuck it. Like, I mean, if I, I say anything different, I might get canceled. So, fuck it. He that. started a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, with like 99 problems. Everybody said that for like the longest. Uh, dirt on your shoulder. Like, everyone said balling for long. Uh, Don't make freaking Jim Jones a greatest of all time. I know, but I mean, he had multiple. So, he had this extensive catalog on top of these, like, Moments, big, yeah, moments, number one hits, and I mean, no, I mean, that dude, that dude, that dude did a deal with I think it was the Black Album where if you buy this Nokia, this piece of shit Nokia phone, you get the album for free. Like, that's like how big his like sway was. Like, people were buying these terrible ass phones just so they can get, I think it was, the, was it the Black Wouldn't Album? I think it was the Black it Album, it was, it was, but, but, but. I do remember that came out because it was a big deal. That was a huge fucking deal, actually. Uh, I mean, listen, album. this. But but like I, to this day, like the Black Album, I only the only songs I know on that was, uh, fuck, like two songs maybe off the whole album. 
Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's definitely your opinion because I mean, there's a lot of songs on the album, so I mean, like, I'm, I know, I know, but spe- I said the only ones I can specifically remember specifically <laughs> the black album. There's a lot of songs on there, so it's like, I mean, if you only heard "Change Clothes," I mean, I guess, mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess that's, I guess that's you. I guess I don't know what to say. I mean, if, if that's the only song that you heard on the black that album, that nigga never does shit for me. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't give me okay. anything a lot of time. Shit. Um, that's not he true about life. <laughs> but, okay, I mean, like I said, I mean, if that's life for us. like that's all the nigga ever did. Amen. So, like, so I mean, that's the ghetto. I mean, I just don't think you can name a lot of rappers. <laughs> Listen, I'll say this for myself. As far as Jay Z is concerned, he's not my favorite. He's he's not. Um, I recognize him for top tier that he is, top five, whatever that he is. But he's not my favorite. Like, I recognize that his rap mechanics are good enough to put him in the the best category. But I'll say that I've been impressed by other lyricists more than him. I mean, I prefer Nas to him. Um, I like a lot of convoluted rap anyways, but I mean, I prefer, I say Lupe is the better lyricist than he is. I mean, he is, like, as far as rap mechanics are concerned. Now, so do you but think if that I the were, whole goat thing is, play, is, is a, it's, it's... No, only because it's hard to find someone who has the total package. Like a lot of the guys I just named, they rap, super their lyrical miracle where they're like pulling all these words all over from all over the place and and making this you know large (laughs) you know whatever jay-z can do that but jay-z can make a song he'll you know he'll have a better producer they'll make a better it'll sound sonically better like i love nas you know, it's on my bucket list to see nas perform live but oh nas in las vegas he's he's amazing amazing yeah if you put I'm glad to hear that. If Nas and DMX, I gotta see them before you know. Uh-huh. You know. Um, so yeah. if you were DMX to put, well, honestly, right before the the video, he was supposed to be out uh, close to me where I live, actually, which is interesting. And the tickets were cheap, and I was like, I'm just gonna go. I think it was like right before somebody else, and I was like, I'm just gonna go and see DMX and leave. Like I just need <laughs> to see the DMX and be like, all right, I did it. But um, Jay, like I said, um, to, to, there's very few people who can rap on that tier in that stratosphere and still be top tier at putting songs together. So everything from Change Clothes to, I mean, there's like so many different, like um, Big Pimpin', um, Hey Poppy, I mean. Dead President. That's like what, that's Pharrell's or something? H to the Izzo, like, I mean, <laughs> um, it's, it, it's too many songs. So it's like he can do the lyrical stuff, right? Like if you were like if you really want to just break down, like if you were to break down just like, and this is surface level stuff. I'm just talking about rap mechanics. If you break down Jigga What Jigga Who, like the rap mechanics of Jigga What Jigga Who, like what he how he's rapping like super fast and how he's putting those flows together. And then how he, and he wasn't really saying anything he's surface. Like, he's always like rap though, like that super fast. Rap. No, no. I think no. at first he was very tongue <clears throat> rapping, and he slowed down to more like. Cool you know. vibe yeah. rap, yeah. like Biggie. Yeah, which was his mentor. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the time, I mean, yeah, I mean, Biggie is everybody's mentor, but yeah, that was his mentor. <laughs> I mean, like everybody says they come from the Biggie tree. I mean, I'll say the Locks did, and now of course I'd say, um, of course Jay did, of course, but yeah. Hey, Amen. I, I mean, I never understood it. I, I just yeah, like, I think I, that's just you. I think that's what you think, and that's fine. You know, I just, I honestly things. believe that kids. Now I don't really like, care. Like I don't care for rich, Wayne. So, a rich I mean, old fella. I mean, that's crazy to say, too. But, you know, I, I just think he's I rich. Don't. And people go, I respect that he has so much money and he can control, like, he, you know. So, what about those other songs that we just told you about? You just, you know, that's yeah. fine. I, I hear what you're saying, man. That's cool. <laughs> I'm saying this new generation doesn't know. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> no. <laughs> they know that Jay Z is a billionaire or quote unquote. <laughs> well, I mean, they know that Lil Wayne so is they like, go, like, I respect that. And that's you it. know, they look at Lil Wayne the same way, though, right? Basically. I just want yeah. you to understand that Lil Wayne or, is not. No, nah, he might have made. a little more of a party. No, Lil Wayne. When was the last time Lil Wayne's made music, guys? Like last fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> he just came up with like, like three or four yeah. songs, bro. <laughs> he was like featured on something. I can't remember, but. He, he literally he just did. has like three songs that came out. Are those are those songs doing numbers? Like I don't. Yeah, I, don't, I, I haven't heard them. Cause you're not Where? looking for them. You out here listening to fucking Locks and Jay Z, nigga. <laughs> you don't listen to Young Thug, remember? 
So, <laughs> so because I don't listen. 1990 has an ass on somewhere. <laughs> Is that how you feel? I mean, just because <laughs> you get very defensive when we talk about Lil Wayne. It's so hilarious. You get so emotional. Yeah. Like, I mean, they, he, he's an old nigga to them too. You know that. He's an old, he's an yeah, old, but he, he's an old cat. He is an old cat, but he's not like Jay-Z old. Like he's kind of the-, the He looks Jay-Z old. Created. He looks way Jay-Z old. He <laughs> looks old. The, the drugs ain't been nice to his ass. I'll tell you what. Little Wayne looks like a wizard. Every time I see Little Wayne, he looks like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just looks like a wizard, doesn't he? Like you could just put him in one of those like mythical tales. Like he'll just be the dude just crawling up like the, from behind the tree. like. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. I don't want to laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, like like a big easel or like a towels bit or some shit. Like just I think man. I think he would make so much money, and I'm not gonna say Wayne's made that kind of money. I think he just thought, you know, caring about what you look like. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. well, 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 yeah. I mean, you see that happening to Jay Z, and it's fine. But there's like a what's happening to Jay Z and what happened to Wayne. It's like I don't know, man. It's just you know, <laughs> hey, he, he just looks. You know what he looks like. You know those pictures, those transitional pictures of plastic surgery gone too far. He's like, that's what it, that that's what it looks like. If you like look at the pictures from like Lil Wayne from the Hot Boys days all the way to like now, it's like one of those. Like, yeah, he was one of the, he 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 went from you know normal than he was like one of the first people to put tattoos all over his face and people were like, holy shit! And it was like a thing. That's look at all these young kids now. They got that shit from him. Like now niggas just have a fucking face full of tattoos for no fucking, and they're not they're not even rappers anymore. Like this is regular ass <laughs> niggas running around these streets with yeah. face tattoos. <laughs> and you wanna ask, now what the hell you got going on here, fella? <laughs> but they're like, I'm about to be a just, rapper. Over yeah, here just what? fucking with you while you're over here trying to get your water. Like, oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I got this tattoo in my face that means something. I'm rapping out here. Like, what? <laughs> Nigga, you didn't make it yet? <laughs> you just think you're gonna make it. <laughs> you just you just jumped the gun there. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I mean, it is what it is. And I mean, not to judge people with tattoos. I just saying that like, Lil Wayne's looked at the same way. I would say that, well, I mean, like, so who so who would you put up uh, before Jay-Z then? Mm. Eminem. Boom. <laughs> Eminem's a better rapper. Mechanically. Because you the other conversation mechanically, Eminem's a better rapper. Yeah, Jay Z make better Jay Z makes better songs. Mechanically. Yeah. Well, 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 well. I said no. According no, to, no according we can, to you can look at the stat, look at the charts. Uh well, he does have more top like hits, I guess Jay Z does. But mechanically, Eminem's a better rapper than Jay Z. I wouldn't say he's necessarily mechanically a better rapper. I've seen them do certain <laughs> things. I've seen <laughs> them do the same things. Okay. Just, so now I would say the Eminem is a little probably a little bit stronger in that category. But once again, I said that lyrics, ability to make songs. He has both of those. I mean, and so is so Eminem. He, he does both. Now, he's done both. Mm, <coughs> he's done you, both. He's done both, yes. He's he still has, but but let me ask you, since, like, the, uh, since the Eminem show, how many of those albums have you listened to? Okay, then. So, okay. What do you mean? <laughs> I, never listened, I didn't listen to the Eminem show. Like, I, I was never an Eminem fan. Like, I never have been an Eminem fan. Like, I never really cared for him. But when you listen to him rap, I go, I get it. I get it. Okay, and all I'm saying, all I'm saying is those. <laughs> all I'm saying is that those albums are not, like, there was a point in time with Eminem where, like, everything he dropped was consensusly, like, it was a consensus, like, okay, this was good, right? Eminem, LP, um, what's uh, Marshall Mathers, LP or EP, and then Eminem Show. Those three albums, general consensus, consensus. Everyone likes it. After that, yeah, yeah, he had that still, emo. Now album. with Jay Z, Volume One was considered. I mean, everyone that heard it in the market has played well. So I mean, for what that was in the '90s, I guess. So it's Volume One, Volume Two, Volume Three. Um, uh, then Blueprint, General Consensus, Blueprint 2, General Consensus, um, <laughs> Black Album, General Consensus, um, Kingdom Come was you know, a little shaky, but then he comes okay. back with the uh, the soundtrack from um, American Gangster, so it's American Gangster, General oh, yeah, Consensus. Yeah, yeah. Blueprint 3, I mean, I didn't care for it, but General Consensus, it was a good album. 
Four forty four. Dude, you know, like, I don't know even know shit like that. You just run, running off the top, like I don't know if that's right or wrong. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> it's, you it's don't wrong. know it because it wasn't good, Chris. <laughs> it wasn't good. It wasn't. And mm-hmm. you know, I'm and you know, and it was one of the things I was talking. So what about, I'm saying like, to you, but, but but you can literally play Eminem songs, right? And more people will know Eminem songs than Jay Z songs. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think so. I can't say that. If you put if you put a a a, a, <clears throat> a just a crowd of people, not not music heads, not not you, Mark, not a whole bunch of yous, just normal <laughs> fucking people that listen to music, <laughs> and okay. they play Jay Z and they played Eminem. They'll know more Eminem songs than Jay Z. I don't think so. I believe. I don't so. know. It, it depends on. Jay Z's been out there too long, and Eminem has been Eminem. recluse. Eminem's been recluse. Like you have to understand that that dude was going through like that dude the way, you know he he had a drug problem he went through he had a lot of shit going albums every day. <laughs> Jay Z don't he, do he, he came album. out he come but he came out with more albums than Eminem from a longer time period. Yeah. More classic. Jay Z Jay Z's been considered a top tier one of the top tier rappers since the nineties. So he keeps coming out with music. So I mean, yeah, he, he's going to be considered that. So. I mean, uh, crazy, tough, tough, tough. Pulling up the stats real quick. I think they're tied at number one. Eminem, Eminem was sold more records, I think. Eminem yeah, sold did. more records, but I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things that come with that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things. Some heavy okay, hitters so. behind you to push that, Dre. I mean. I mean on top of that, like our record sold them, I and Nelly, I think sold so I sold both of them. I think. No, Nelly's number four. Mm. He's behind Drake. Nelly. Okay. Yeah. Eminem at forty nine, Jay Z at thirty, uh, Drake at twelve, and I don't know what Nelly is. Nelly. Yeah. Nelly. Because it was getting hot in here, so obviously that was a thing. Yeah. Getting hot in her. So take up all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I want to take my clothes off. You know what? You know what? Really, if you ever go back, you ever go back and, if you ever go back and listen to the lyrics of those old songs, they were terrible. Like the thong song is like the worst song ever. Yeah. But you know what? High school, out. You know, when everyone did, <laughs> when Arrow the girls ran out and got thongs, and I was, you know, you know. <laughs> Why was that song terrible? Baby, I like when you shake it. That freaky nah. face when you make it. Girl, you think the shit wanna be hit. Don't stop making drop. I can handle it. He you knows she's trying to do. I don't know. Those, Are we talking about the same song? That's not the same song. That was a different song. It's Hold on. Like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, like, like it was more like, aggressive. Like, <laughs> that's a lot more aggressive than I remember being on the radio. That's not what Cisco say. <laughs> At all. I was like, God what damn it, of, what song was that? That was dancing me. I was a big Cisco fan, bro. I was like, that was my first CD I ever got. This dude I hear talking, I'm like, like what? what? I never <laughs> heard him. I never heard him say that. that. I was, I was, I was trying to think of the video and everything. Like, like no, nah, I don't remember. I remember, the video, they were on the I remember bumps, bumps like a truck, truck, truck. truck. Yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah, like, yeah. What? guys like what? what? Yeah, that's that's terrible. I thought it was thighs like what? No, I think guys like what? What? Girls, you but 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 all night long. Let me see that. Dun, dun. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh man, yeah, a lot of Love those, it be go. Da-da, da-da. a lot of those old songs are like really aggressive. And if, you, if you watch that video, that shit is like we really like the nigga that was doing karate chops, like. <laughs> He thought he was a ninja. <laughs> Everybody goes that ninja route. Why? <laughs> I don't know, dog. It's like we gotta, like we gotta do. Some, <laughs> spins in the air. Throw some, throw some Chinese people in there. <laughs> throw, throw them in there. I don't know like, why he did that. It was but so like that hip-hop used to happen in hip hop videos all the time in the nineties, where they'll just throw a random like Asian dude, and he's like for some reason a ninja, and it's like. Well, why is he? Wait a minute. Why is that ninja there? Like, what, <laughs> <laughs> why is why is there like a room full of thirty of the realest goons ever, and then just like a random ninja there? I think that's why these niggas like fall off so tough because we're embarrassed about that shit later. <laughs> <laughs> put it away. Put it away. 
<laughs> you like Loki niggas was fucking with Cisco. Like niggas had dragon chains on and everything. Uh, I had a dragon chain. I had a dragon chain. <laughs> See, there you we go. gotta we gotta do we gotta do a segment one day when we talk about the fake chains that we had. I had a grenade chain. I had a, a, a yeah grenade chain. I had a grenade chain. I had a. Uh, you drama? I had, <laughs> 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 hey, yo. hey yo! Shout out, shout out to you for remembering drama. Lel, 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 Get in, stop! Get in, stop! <laughs> Go on! Oh, man. But uh, damn. Nah, but I had I have to go listen to that song now. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's terrible now. It's horrible. But um, no, it's actually really still good. I was like, I, I low key was listening to this shit like a couple months back because I was like, damn, drama. <laughs> My name is drama. Oh shit, that shit go hard as hell still. Like, you in the gym just tossing weights all over the place, just like Chris <laughs> 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 just out here. <laughs> Oh, tear weights up, tear the weights up. You know, be lifting the he, drama. He was, he was in, he like beef with uh, what? No limit, dude. I don't he know. Beef, he was beefing with no limit because <laughs> they were the real. Sick. I keep confusing with him with JT Money. I don't know who JT Money is. Uh, he made that song. Uh, who that? 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 Oh shit! That only that's the only song he had. He? <laughs> that was it. That nigga hoot his ass out of there. <laughs> <laughs> now we got some who, 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 who that made that song? <laughs> who that made TT? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> in all fairness, Drama only had one song, too. Drama had, had a whole song. album. He had a lot of songs. That, that album was actually kind of dope. Who in the fuck on <laughs> the Drama <laughs> album? Who in the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you buy the drama album from? I like, what store? Do you actually walk? I didn't walk into a physical location. <clears throat> no, nah, my sister had it. So. And you thought on all the albums that she had, you was like drama. No, I'm not. Finna- she was older, so everything she played was cool. Like I, that's why I got on to Do or Die and all them niggas. Like she used to play all that shit. So it was like, like that's when I got into this shit. I was like, oh okay, drama must be the coolest thing ever. And then you know. The niggas around the block and shit used to, you know, come around with those chains that you had on. And I was like, obviously, John was cool as shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that was a tangent. So, yeah, I had a grenade chain. I had some sort of, like, cash money, like, millionaires for the 99 2000 chain that had, like, a cross in it. Um, oh, man. I, um, that nigga, I couldn't afford none of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, 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 they were, they were fake. I bought them in the mall. See, no, oh, yeah. what there I'm was, saying, dude, I, there I didn't was, have that kind of money. I think uh, I bought one fake chain and my dad made me take it back and that was so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never bought another one since. He, like, he was like, don't worry Why about did- it. Give me car, Chris. Because I think I got like Christmas money or some shit. So I went to the little lady in the middle of the mall and she charged me. Bam! My dad was like, nope, come on. <laughs> and was like, you don't do no refunds. My dad was like, who the fuck owns this? And he went like nuts and she gave me my $50 back. And she was like, I only did it because you look scared. Like, bitch, you were scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I do appreciate it because I won't get my ass beat when I get home. <laughs> Thank you. I'll for spending fifty dollars on a chain that you wanted, like you yeah, wanted nigga, that chain. My dad was so. I, mean, he, he, I told you he, he's weird, mad about shit. But I was like, oh my god. Me and that lady were both looking at him like, come on, man. I was like looking at him like, just give my money back, man, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> you see what he about to do? Man. You know he about to get mad. He mad at you. I know he want my ass when I get on, cuz. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Well. Well. Okay. Well. That was a nice little tangent. I, I forgot where we're at. Um, y'all, <laughs> <laughs> y'all. I guess I'll throw, I'll throw mine up in there. Uh, I had the the Spreewell necklace. God damn like it! <laughs> yeah, you uh, funded Spreewell's own career, nigga. <laughs> I, man, I did. I did. This nigga had every Spreewell about this five times. <laughs> in the room, got home, and that shit fell off. Oh, oh shit! Like, <laughs> so you, so you put the pedal thing. to the metal dance. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you did? I just watched it roll away. Like, damn. Oh, man. 
Seventy dollars. <laughs> well, how much? Seventy. Seventy. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I've never paid that much for any of my chains. My, the, and these were fake chains. Like I never paid that much for any of my chains. I was paying like twenty, yeah. thirty dollars. It was seventy dollars. So I went back. But you know, I never bought the chain from the guy in the middle of the mall. Like I knew oh, that's yeah, what that's... they were getting. I was oh, buying yeah. chains from other people. No, no, <laughs> I went to the Chinese here. store. <laughs> what were you saying, no. Tim? You said what happened? I said that's where I got mine from in the uh, in the middle of the uh, yeah. mall. But Chris, you said the Chinese store like those chains were that much like worse uh, than the chains <laughs> from the middle of the mall. <laughs> like yeah, you, you make it seem like they were the same exact chains that they were selling at the beauty supply. So you just dumb and didn't know that they were at the beauty supply. Don't judge me. Man. I was, I was, <laughs> I was about to say, those are the same exact <laughs> chains. Let me tell you all them, all them chickens that I was with when I was out there, they're like, "Ooh, Chris is buying a chain for the middle of the mall." You goddamn right, bitch. Man, I went over here. I give you some Chick Fil A after we done with this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think the the quality from the kiosks were better no. than the than no. well, the ones at ours. It was. It was. Oh, so Kansas, St. Louis, Kansas. So they they just had the they had the heavy. It duty, looked better. Like Mark, you I went to those so. Chinese stores. And they had them in a plastic. I bag. never listen. Once again, I said I bought my chains off of people, so I never bought them from anyone. Oh, so this nigga out here robbing niggas with chains, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd give people money, and they'd give me their little, you know, their fake chains, and I. That's it. Man. Secondhand chains. I got twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, did you guys have the blinged out watch? The watch with the jewelry, with the fake, with the diamonds on it. No, I didn't do the watch thing. I remember my freshman year I did the watch and my teacher. My teacher was uh <laughs> oh, my math teacher was giving a lesson and I was sitting by the window and I took I I um <laughs> once again these are fake as fuck, right? I took the reflection and I shined it in his eye <laughs> as he was teaching. I didn't get in trouble because I typically don't do stupid things like that. But <laughs> I thought I was, that was such a lame situation. But yeah, I mean, we have to do like you know. I don't know why we thought that we had to buy the fake, um, the I fake mean, uh, niggas are still doing that now, Mark. <laughs> still going hard. People are still wearing fake jewelry. Yeah. Well, listen, I mean, <laughs> a fake chain is a fake chain. Like, are people still wearing like fake, like f- loud jewelry? The fake loud jewelry still it's just different now. It's just. Mm-hmm. Different, like. I mean, those people that are getting, that are into those things are poor. <clears throat> I mean, like when, when I was at that stage, I didn't have no money. Like I saved up for that chain, <laughs> <laughs> for it to fall off and roll away. But <laughs> <laughs> that ten seconds you had it, Tim, amazing. <laughs> I, I was on top of the world. Just, yeah, I'm about to kill it at school. <laughs> but <laughs> never made it. Returned the same day. Um, <laughs> those people, they don't have that much money, <laughs> so they go, they gonna fake it till they make it. And that's, I think that's basically how that works. Like, why not? Like a lot of people, like if you go to any club or bar, and I do it, like most of those people have chains on that are fake, mm-hmm. but they shining. Um, shining, shining. <laughs> I can understand you wearing a fake pair of like shoes. What's the that. difference from shoes to a chain? Because you might just like, True. like you made because the sneaker game is so like ridiculous now. So let's just say if you like, like let's just say you want a pair of off white sneakers, right? And if you legitimately were willing to pay the retail price for off white, which is like two fifty or something like that, you don't have a bot, you're not going to get the shoe. You're not going to get the sneaker. So what's going to happen is you're going to have to pay a resale. Resale is like $1,000. It is normal for a dude to not afford, have $1,000 to pay for shoes. That is a normal statement, you know what I'm saying, to make, or a normal assumption for to make of someone that they can't pay $1,000 for a, sneaker, a shoe. So if you like that shoe, and maybe my man's over here can get the shoe, or you know this website over here can get the shoe, <laughs> And it looks like the shoe and you're okay with the quality. I can understand that. 
because there's a scarcity. There's no scarcity of fake or real chains. Like, I mean, if you have the money, someone will give you a piece of jewelry. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have the money. This is the point there, right? So mm-hmm. most people, I think, look at that chain and they go, I don't have $25,000 to drop on a chain, but I do have $200 to drop on a chain. And it looks just as nice if I shine it up like and put right. nail polish on it. I know Man, that because I have clear. One. Man, <laughs> that clear. I look at that and I go, that sounds silly as shit to go buy a chain that much money. But it does look cool if you're at night and it's like the lights hit you and you're like shining. It looks cool as fuck. So, yeah, I don't overdo my shit, <laughs> but I'm not going to pay that kind of money for a chain. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, okay, well, I mean, for me, I mean, I wouldn't do it. Um, I got understand some sneakers. Um, well, I mean, Mark, you don't wear jewelry like that, do you? Um, I mean, because I look at some people that go, they have fake earrings in with their, their cubics. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, well, no, I mean, I I do like small stuff like rings. You know, I got, I'm of course, I got my wedding ring. I got some some bracelets. I got some um, some watches. Watches were my thing for a second until so I got into the smart watch. I was super into watches, so I have like you know. A couple watches for my little, you know, BS watch collection. Nothing crazy, but, you know, I got some watches. So, I mean, I wear jewelry. Um, I um, I had a chain for a little bit, but it just recently, it it broke. So, we're taking it back to yeah, good old Zales. Zaley Zales. I got, I got snatched. Liz got me this one. Yeah. <laughs> that something real. small like that. Yeah. Something, something small, small like that. that. That's real, but, like, the big diamond shit, like... The, I wear this every day, so that has to be real. My earrings have to be real because I wear them every day. But yeah. those, that fake jewelry shit, like, no, come on, man. I don't need that. But it looks very cool if you're going out every once in a while, and I don't ever have to put that shit on. And I'm not wearing that to, like, a real important situation where someone's like, watches? <laughs> important. You know? Gotta be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Well, I mean, for me, like I said, I'm not doing all that. I mean... Tim, what do you feel? What do you feel about all that? Mm, it's I don't know. I'm with Chris. Like it's it's necessary at times, but like to be like gaudy about it is I don't know that we're past that part of life to get out there and be yeah. like, yeah, got it, <laughs> <laughs> got my chain. Like on, I paid in full. You got you. Yeah. <laughs> I got money. <laughs> I got <laughs> You good, B? I see you shine. <laughs> what like, like, like last episode? Hey, you're fresh. We're friends now. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> nah. You got to be uh, smarter with your money. But I yeah. do think it's like, there's some people that, that, I don't know. I just find it very strange that people are willing to spend that kind of money on something like that, but not a car or pay their bills <laughs> <laughs> like, i just find that shit strange well i mean i think this comes with just you know maturing i guess to some degree these are grown ass uh, men now like these are people like 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 there's a, now i know some people are going to be upset there's some old niggas out there that are still trying to be rappers and it's like yo you might want to go get you a day job <laughs> like you might want to you might want to go find a job don't quit rapping i'm not saying right. quit like, just find but someone don't on the keep side. that as your main job because <laughs> it's not looking too good right now. <laughs> what I don't understand is that like side job. <laughs> I think yeah. like, I feel like I feel like Jake Holden them like made it okay to be a regular fella who who raps. Like you don't have to be like you don't have to be like. Uh, but you just said Jake but, 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 you know you don't have but, to do all that. But you, that looks cool. J. Cole has, you have to actually put some actual talent to what you're No, saying. no. You yeah, have you to kind of You, you could be garbage, you saying. could be garbage and make like not gangster nah. music. Yeah. Uh, I name don't know. One. I feel like it goes. You could be garbage. Name one. Like, um, name, name one person. Lil Yachty. He doesn't, he doesn't make gangster music at all. He makes pop music though. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't want to be. They, they don't want that. These niggas want to come out there and be like, I'm the hardest nigga in the world. I show, I told good and all that shit. They're not trying to come out here just to rap and be funny and nice. <laughs> I'm a happy rapper. I, well, you told me to name someone, so I named Lil Yachty. I'm just saying. 
I mean, you little like little Yachty makes he probably makes more money than anyone else because <laughs> he's the only one in the world. And like, but that's the thing is like, why don't they look at it? Okay, commercial. maybe rapping is not my thing. Maybe let me get into producing and managing other artists because I I know what I'm doing. Like, you got to well, figure that shit. Out. That's the funny <laughs> thing about it, right? Because everyone like when you look at music, right? You're looking at careers in music. There's all a lot of jobs in music if you really want to try to break into music. Mm-hmm. But it's you know. You might have to take an internship. You might have to, you know, do some other things, whatever the case may be. But I mean, if you really want to break into music, you can break into music in other ways. But everyone goes for, I'm going to be the rapper or I'm going to be the manager. Like everyone wants to do the top tier. Like no one wants to be like an A&R. No one wants to be X, Y. You know what I'm saying? Like no one wants to do those small things. And those small things will pay you like, you know, if you, you get paid first, <laughs> like the rapper gets paid you, last. Yeah. And if you grind <laughs> out, if you really, if you get really grind out, I mean, you can make, I mean, some of those A and make a lot of money. Like if you, because you get work on it with everybody. You don't have to just work on yourself. You go, hey, I'm going to everybody, and they all have to pay me. And you get paid. That's a check you get. As a rapper, well, you have to pay everyone else first. A lot of them get like a salary job, and I think that's what deters people from going that route because they want like a percentage of the finished product so but it is smart to go that route because then you are being kind of shopped around to all the artists that are assigned to that uh, studio or whatever because then you could be like oh slide my business card to this dude that person this chick <clears throat> or at least just a music game and you're getting a check because i'm sure then it's not a small check you're getting once you get once you get your foot in the door mm. i'm sure you're getting paid but i don't know i find that strange that a lot of people go into that scrap thing and they go, they'll rather buy a $25,000 chain than to put that $25,000 to work for doing other things. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you know, um, hey man, it's, it, it's these funny times, man. It's funny times. Money, you know, some, some people money are just a little weird and they just do to certain things. And it's just interesting. I mean, we were supposed to talk about this later in our little feedback, but I mean, the concepts of money, like, <laughs> like people and their concepts of money and what, what is and what isn't. Like, I mean, things that I guess I would assume are basics, are, you know, don't seem to be. And it's weird. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, you know, um, you know, these money concepts, you know, these things that you sometimes you think are just basic things. Sometimes you look at things and you go, hmm. I think uh, you had a question. That I think I remember you bringing up something in regards to like um, some you saw on the internet. Yeah, I saw a, a weird post, right? And it was like, uh, you get three options. Option one, you could get an 850 credit score. Option two, two million in cash. Option three, $4,000 a week for the rest of your life and i saw a lot of people saying they'd take two million in cash up front and unless you plan on dying soon (laughs) i just did not see that (laughs) i just didn't understand it (laughs) so i saw i see that meme too i see that meme and it's funny because like the internet is full of like so many people who are just capping just to like sound like they're smarter than the average bear. <laughs> Financially smart, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because if you do this, you're going to get the residuals and you can take that and you can hit it like that. And that's just game. <laughs> Why do you have to sell like that? <laughs> Put a whole bunch of Mac on that's it. A, because that's how, that's, that's how I imagine they talk. Like, <laughs> I imagine they sound like that. You know what I'm saying? You just do it like that, you know, you, you know that. Boy, hit it. Hit that. Cause I ain't like these other cats, you know. I'm gonna need my money up front, and, you know. Take it right here. We can invest, so you know, by half of it, you know. What I'm saying, put the other half in the street, and, you know, do it like that. <laughs> and it's it's funny. It's funny because you just <laughs> you like you you watch people. You just look at those comments and go, "You really don't know what you're talking about, huh?" Okay. Right. <laughs> like to me, it's just obvious. Like, and I really feel like those memes are meant. And spread amongst our community to make us seem dumb. <laughs> I really feel that be, way because it's be just like, like because it's like to me it's like well, how is any other options besides C viable? Well, it would take like what 
Like well, if you if you answer that question it, wrong, like if you answer that question 10 wrong, years, some shit like that to, to be, it'd be like about ten years where you make two million if you just if you're strictly living off of that four thousand dollars. Was that per week? Yeah, per week. Oh yeah, per yeah. Week, about Sixteen thousand dollars a month, yeah. about ten years. So you get additional four thousand. So you're getting so there's four weeks in a month in a month, right? <laughs> That's so right. Getting, four thousand dollars, sixteen thousand dollars a month. Sixteen thousand dollars times twelve is one hundred and ninety. Well, I wouldn't do it like that because oh. um, when uh, two of the months have extra weeks, so yeah. if you just do fifty-two weeks times the whatever, still, it's still gonna be about ten. But I mean, so. yeah, yeah, and some change. <laughs> so, I mean, like yeah. you, but, for, but but that's additional income, exactly. So whatever little right. whatever little dumb job you're working, you could be flipping <laughs> burgers. So you don't have to do anything. You work part time at McDonald's and get guaranteed four thousand dollars every week. The average, the average, that would cover like the average mortgage in a decent, respectable house. You can take a car note. Man. You're paying for everything cash. Yeah, $4,000 <laughs> a week just to have like. $4,000 a week. I, on I top feel like. Of whatever like, you were doing. I'll be Oprah in the house. Like who, who wants it this week? <laughs> who, you? Nah, you? nah, you didn't do the chores. Fuck you. <laughs> you get a you call. You can literally play with the market. You can literally play with the market. Like, okay, this week I'm up. Like, you could day trade. Like, you have a guaranteed like four thousand dollars coming back next week. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, that's what four thousand yeah. dollars a week sounds. There's like so many things option. you can do. But there's some people that say, "I need it now. I want. I need my money, and I want it now." Yeah, but JG if you need two, <laughs> But if you get two million dollars now, who's to say you're going to be able to manage it? Most people cannot. Nobody. That's what that's that's the hardest thing. I think people look at money and they real, they think like if I had more of it, all my problems would be fixed. But that's not how this works. You're just gonna you increase imagine. whatever habits that you have are gonna be increased. That's the only Anytime, thing you do. That's it. You you oh, you usually level out. It takes real discipline to live below your means. It takes real discipline. I mean, I know because like we, me and my family, we recently purchased a house and um, like when we bought it we were like we could afford a certain house we could afford a certain amount a house like we could afford a certain amount of house but we looked at it and we're like lifestyle and we're just like well i righteously don't want to like if i like me going to another job or you know doing this and that this would be so stressful if i, were, if I was in a different it would be so stressful if i was in a different house but the this house is- that i'm living in now is like okay all right. It's about maintaining it. Like, um, I mean, back to paid in full, like live and maintain. <laughs> like <laughs> you live and maintain. Be. Like, would you get to that flashy, flashy uh, stage when you get in that 2000, you're looking at like, all right, I'm about to go buy a big house. Stuff is attached to the big house, the cars, the clothes. But I think more people do that for other people. That's that's the, the shitty part. Exactly. 100%. Because like for myself, right, the temptation to get another house is like, well, I mean, like I'm in like a townhouse. I could have, but I can afford the house with a yard. Mm-hmm. And you know, and the all HOA the other stuff, <laughs> all the other and stuff, that, right? Yeah. But it's like for me, I'm like, well, yeah, we can do that, or we could take the small house and go on vacation whenever. You know, not whenever we want, but we can make sure we can do like one or two vacations and whatever the case may be. Right. Okay. So, all right. Well, I just rather live over here. I can still afford to, you know, buy that dumb stuff back here. You know. <laughs> on top of the fact that we had a, you know, we have a, a young one, so it's like, I don't know. Like, I think when we're looking at it, it's just really just about living below your means, but it take, but what I'll say to you is that it takes discipline because I mean, you see the other, you know, you see the house with the fence and you go, yeah, that could be me. I want that. <laughs> and oftentimes what happens is people don't understand is that, so we give you that 2 million right there, right? So you're not, so obviously you're gonna upgrade. You're gonna upgrade to whatever it is. And what you don't understand on the other side of your spectrum of what you make, like the second you get that shit, it costs money to maintain that shit. So if you buy a luxury vehicle, nine times, so as soon as you drive it out the lot, it depreciates immediately, right? It just it immediately depreciates. And it, it depreciates more for like the luxury vehicles, unless it's some sort of collector item, what have you, right? 
So the second you walk, get off the lot, it depreciates. On top of that, it costs money to maintain. Like um, I remember working uh, at a rental, and one of the um, one of the uh, one of our partners that the branch I worked at was Jaguar. And I remember picking up a guy, and he was like, he was getting a brake job, and he told me that it was like twenty thousand dollars because there's sensors. Kind of Jaguar did he have? Apparently, there's <laughs> sensors on the brakes. Depends. Those are like <laughs> depending on what kind of brakes. Like a brake job is like maybe eight hundred dollars to a thousand, depending on what kind of car you got. Two thousand dollars. He has some shit going on. <laughs> yeah, some shit. Yeah, they did some, some nonsense. Performance. Yeah. But listen, yeah. but listen, we're talking about a brake job. We're talking <clears throat> about a brake job. So look at. So either way, on the low spectrum, which what you're saying. That's how much it costs. So you went, so so you went, so I'm giving you $2 million. You went from paying like $50 or like, you know what I'm saying? Like a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars to take care of your brakes. Now, 800. Right. And you have no way to continuously, you're still only making 60,000. I got it. (laughs) I got, I got 1.9 mil left. Shit, <laughs> boss <Dream>. up. <laughs> but that's, hey, how, man. that's how most people like look at that. I think it's uh, it's weird to watch people with money because it's like everyone. I, I just everyone wishes if I had more money, all of my problems would be fixed. <laughs> and it's like the weirdest shit in the world. Like now nah, you're gonna you're gonna fucking have more problems now because that's just what comes with it. Uh, Shit starts to happen that you just don't. You're like, damn. Well, good for me. <laughs> I want. I, I wanted to want a lump sum of two million dollars, because I mean, for that reason, just like it's just the shit that's just gonna come all at once. Like four thousand dollars, you can hide that. Like you know what knows. Like <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just keep it okay. going. <laughs> it just keep it going. But the two million does sound a lot cooler. Like shit, I got two million dollars, and niggas like, yeah, Whoa. you sound like yeah. a prime target to get robbed too. If everybody shit. know security, <laughs> <Cha-ching>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that comes uh, with a price too. That's what I'm saying that's gonna get absorbed. <clears throat> so I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, listen, at the end of the day, I mean, we're not you know gurus or whatever. But I mean, to me, you, you just see people, and you know, the certain concepts of like the right way and everyone thinks that they're everyone thinks they're a guru so you know you can't teach nobody nothing so it's like you know everyone's like yeah so we do it like that you know what I'm saying oh they all think they can flip two million in, into some type of business no you can't tip you can't flip two man. million <laughs> if you can't flip two million is gonna be a billion in like two if years you, with, if you never yeah. flipped if you can't flip your own income you can't flip like that's a acquired skill like people who are flipping things they're flipping houses or doing whatever they've done it before and they've always usually started off somewhat gradually if you've never flipped anything before the chances of you just taking two million dollars and just Anytime anyone has anything, is they had to do it gradually because you have so many mistakes that you fucking run into. Yeah, like, you have to learn. You, you have to learn how to maintain it. Two million dollars to somebody, you don't know what you're doing. You're gonna blow that two million. Yeah, that's, that's it's a learning lesson. <laughs> it's a hard one, but it's a it's a learning lesson. So that's what most easier to 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 gradually build to two million. And it's like mentally easier because you're stepping. It's like taking baby steps with your money uh four thousand okay like okay actually i'm actually getting this money like it's coming at me and then as you start adding on to like your bill list like you're gonna get billed for whatever you get like we said the cars the house whatever it's gonna come out of that you know what comes with and you don't want those things anymore like those things aren't a, a need like you look at those things and go well i don't need that i can wait or you know maybe I can you know throw this money over here, flip it, and then go just buy it. Exactly, exactly. And I, I mean, I don't know. It just all starts with a plan. If you have no I mean, plan, you're just gonna. I mean, I don't know. Listen, that's, man. That's I mean, hundred percent right. The plan is that's you have, but you have like you really have to have a plan and stick it and like write it down and shit. Well, number one plan. If you if you can't flip the little money that you have, if you can't flip a thousand dollars. You probably can't flip two million. Facts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're gonna lose some, and you're probably gonna you lose it all. Thousand, because... if, you, if you if you if you can't if you've never flipped a thousand, you probably shouldn't take option B. But you know what <laughs> happens with a lot of people, like like like, what I go I go back to that fucking 
I really don't like that shit for some odd reason. What's that Forex shit? That people are like, come join me and be a Forex leader and watch me make my trades on my phone. And it's like, I made $6,000 today. And I'm like, why are you telling these people these lies, man? (laughs) (laughs) Because it's like, there's someone that really believes that shit. And they're like, I'm about to be a millionaire. (laughs) They want that buy-in. Hey, man. I mean, that's what comes with it. Like, what? <laughs> I can make a, I can flip on my phone. I'm gonna quit my job. <laughs> I have a phone. Tra- for real. Let's for real people. And it was like, and it's funny, it's funny because then they bring in like, you know, like come join join the Forex gang. The Forex gang. <laughs> <laughs> we really making money. Let me show you how I'm making my money. <laughs> All right, all right. Look, 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 Jenny, Jenny over here. She just made ten thousand dollars right here. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. flipping. And it's like you see, like you made ten thousand dollars. If, if you ain't making money in your sleep, you ain't making no money. Like, huh? <laughs> huh. And then, like, and then, like, that's like half of the videos. The other half of the videos, they're like eating like some shit that they probably shouldn't be eating. Like, listen, <laughs> don't ever let nobody tell you that you can't. You got to put in the work. You got to work. You got to try hard. You uh, know what I'm saying? Don't ever let nobody. You know what I'm saying? Those are my favorite ones. <laughs> this cost two thousand dollars. It was imported. <laughs> I'm eating it hey. now. <laughs> I enjoy the motivation part of it, but I go, why lie to these people, man? Like, if you want to just motivate people to just get up in the morning and do some shit, just motivate them. <laughs> <laughs> they're dangling wow. like a, a, a an object that you'll never catch you'll never reach that bitch mm-hmm. well you know hey man like it is what it is I mean I guess some people get gotten there and you know yeah. it just happens and <clears throat> gotta go oh man but I think like it happens because it's like such a lack of financial think, education no, I don't even think it's that I think it's more wow. just nobody wants to work Everybody oh, that's wants definitely. Well, that's the, that's Come yeah, on. but that's just the grumpy old man Republican coming out of you right there. Nobody wants to work. Back in mud. <laughs> you know, and I think that's probably what makes <laughs> me so angry with that forex shit because I had to like take two years out of my life, three years so out of my life. So what? And it's like someone's like, I can show you how to do it in a day. Like, no, you fucking can't. <laughs> you can't do that well, shit. But what if he can't? Chris? They cannot. That's impossible. I can tell you something. I can tell you not not, not a lot. It's impossible. That motherfucker <laughs> is impossible. Okay. Well, what if he can? Man. You're just a big old hater. No, I'm big not. old hater. I just wish people do it because I I wish that people just go. You know what? Let me go do it the right way and the. No, the good dude. old. No, dude, oh, dude has a dude has commercial and a Lambo and like you know, you know all types of fireworks in the back, and then he's standing next to like, you know, some blonde, and it's like, yeah, dog, my life, I used to be a loser, <laughs> just like you. Yeah, dog. That's all he does. That's all he says. Yeah, dog. <laughs> I used to be a loser, just like you. And look at yeah, me now. Dog. My life is so much better than yours. Click the link, and then you could have my life too. And people go, oh, what? Where's the link? Right. <laughs> I'll show you so... how to do justice. <laughs> you so no. Uh, honestly, they never even talk. Half of these videos, they don't even talk about what they're selling. It's just like, like that's what I you, love. Aren't you tired of being a loser? <laughs> the the one I love is when they're like, "All right, now I'm coming in my house. I'm over here in my office. No, wait, hold on. Let me go downstairs. Y'all coming with me? <laughs> hold on. I gotta go check on my car." Yeah, <laughs> I gotta check on my car. <laughs> like, make sure it's still running. <laughs> like, what? You know like, how rich I am? I just burn gas. Look, no one's even in that right. car. <laughs> right. I remember the it's one. There was the a dog. One, there's the one. He's like, yeah. So you know, right now we're in Europe, and uh, this is my friend. Yeah, you know, he was like a musician, and he went fell on some hard times. He studied my program, and how much you making now? Oh. A hundred million dollars a day. A hundred million dollars a day. <laughs> oh my gosh. One hundred million that dollars and they go, a day. I'll click here. Someone's like, okay, to get started, you have to give me five hundred dollars. <laughs> but that five hundred dollars is going to get you ten thousand dollars if you do what I tell you to do. Word for word. It. Step by step. <laughs> If you miss a step, you'll never make it. But <laughs> word, step by step. For the love of God, don't miss a step. For the love of God, please don't miss a step. 
Oh, and then, like, step one, read the encyclopedia from front to back. <laughs> <laughs> they recited some memory. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> yeah. Literally, the first step of most of these things is, like, read my informational program. And it's, like, some book that no one's ever going to read. And, like, after that, <laughs> grab five people. to join your team and once they join your team you'll make ten thousand dollars but you have to keep those five people but they have to get five people and then those people (laughs) have to get more five people (laughs) and after that your ten thousand dollars is coming so you only will make about a hundred dollars this one go around (laughs) but ten thousand dollars is coming it's It's so bad it's so bad but look look at johnny he's making 20 billion (laughs) dollars And he started off just like you. And it's like, yeah, man, I used to be a loser too. I used to what sit down. Uh, so the guy that called me that one day, hey, man, let me tell you, when's the last time you traveled somewhere? Yeah, I was like, uh, what? Yeah, 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 I went to Spain. Nigga, you ain't doing shit with your life, did you, huh? Yeah, so what we need from you, I was like, I heard you on a basketball team. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it's a, uh, a D League team or something like that. No, no, it, it was like a fucking, uh, like what, are those things called? <laughs> what, what are those things called with me, you, Tim, and two other niggas can jump on a team and we just hoop it out? What are those no. things? In a, in a mirror. Yes, just in a real team, but they doing big things. I got them niggas tennis shoes. <laughs> what? Well, what? Really? He didn't say in a mirror team. Yeah, it was it was an in a mirror team, Mark. Come on, man. It wasn't an in a mirror team. I don't remember that. <laughs> if it was wait, 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 what? Wait a minute, what? Hey. It was not an intramural team. Nigga, that, that was an intramural team, man. These no, it was not intramural. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas out here doing security app after the game. After the game. <laughs> That's what the outfit was, uh, the <laughs> the jersey was sponsored by? <laughs> yeah, security. <laughs> oh, <man>. Securitas. <laughs> Sponsors all these jerseys. <laughs> Yeah, I got my niggas. I got my mirrors, tennis shoes, man. Shit. <laughs> we made them off of a flight club, whatever that shit is. We made those tennis shoes, so you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we doing big things out here. <laughs> oh man, you ever been to Spain? You want to go? <laughs> I was like, shit, boy. And they always come, and always they always come hot. So guys, what we're talking about, we're talking about um, the time periods where, you know, you know, you have a friend, man, you still know him from high school or college, he disappeared from time, you haven't talked to him in a long time, and all of a sudden, he disappears, and he sends you a message on social, and you're just like, hey, and you're like, hey, I haven't talked to you forever, it's like, yeah, that's cool, it's like, hey, I wanted to talk to you, maybe we should hang out sometime, and you go, sweet, we're gonna go hang out. So you go, right? <laughs> he invites you over to his house. Oh, and it's like, oh man, you have a decent house. There's a lot of cool things going on. And all of a sudden you look at the spread, and it's like the spread looks a little weak. It's kind of like just some chips and some Kool-Aid. I don't know what's going on here. And then all of a sudden a projector comes out and like, hey, I really wanted to talk to you about this great opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're sitting there looking at your wife like <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> See four or five of the families sitting there, like, what is oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, after the whole thing, uh just sign your name and put your social security down. I'm like, what? He's just, <laughs> he's just sitting there with just with, with one chip with, with dip on it, like <laughs> no, Sorry? Feel obligated to do it. Like, so <laughs> y'all ready to do this? <laughs> like, uh huh. Man, you know, I left my wallet in the car. <laughs> Damn, I ain't even got my wallet, cuz. That's okay, that's okay. Just write down everything else. I get that from later. <laughs> I can't I can't lock it. Liz was doing that shit, so I kind of feel bad. <laughs> this is like you that shit. <laughs> she was like, she was like you want to lose weight? Oh, well, let me show you something. Here is my team, and we can all like, holy shit. Oh Can man! You not do that right now. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, but it did come with a lot of cool shit, and the only thing I respected was she became more business minded, and her fucking Facebook page blew the fuck up because she figured out how that shit worked. Well, this is what I'm saying, and this is what I'm saying. It's like this, right? 
every time you talk to somebody, right? So every so let's just say you meet, go past your friend, right? And you said, all right, listen, I understand you're going through tough times right now. I, I can I just give you like a hundred dollars? Would that would that help you if I just give you? <laughs> would that help you if I get? I'll give you a hundred dollars and hopefully that'll help, right? And they go, no, 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 no. Before you do that, let me let me put you on a, a counseling session with my guy. He's gonna explain the whole thing to you, and then. You pick up the phone, right? And then like, cause your wife was there, she has to come and be on the phone too. So now she's angry at you and you're on the Zoom call and it's just like, hey guys, what's going on? You guys are big losers. Don't you want to not be a loser? I'm never a loser. At one point in time I was a loser, but I'm not. And this is how I did it. And then you're just looking at your wife like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> on that Zoom call, I would have closed it and be like, man, I don't know what happened. I lost my connection, dog. <laughs> okay, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just like, it's like in all these little, in this financial world, right? Where everyone's trying to look for an avenue or do something extra or an additional income, whatever the case may be. <laughs> I just need a residual income. <laughs> you get these guys, man. You get these guys. Just make a check. God damn. Yeah, you get these guys that just like, they're so into whatever it is that they're into. And it's like, they have this hyper aggressive and this hyper like ego that comes with it. And it's like, it's automatically the strategy is just to play like, oh, I know something and you don't. Like, yeah, so you know I'm gonna do this, this and that. And it's like, it's so obvious to anybody who has a basic concept of money. Like, you know, I feel like if you answer that question wrong, it says something about you. <laughs> he goes, oh, okay. No. Oh. okay. It, just, cool. it just says like your mindset and where you're at. like. No yeah. one really picked the 850 credit score, and that would probably get you $2 million if you do it the right way faster than 10 years. I know that. With the 850 credit score, you open up your business. In like five years, you could have $2 million credit line easily. You don't even have to have a fucking business. <laughs> you just have to open up an LLC and just say you're doing this shit. <laughs> Siphon money out there. And yeah, like Arkansas Mo. Well, okay, <laughs> but it's like you have to attach something to that first one, that eight hundred. What was it, eight fifty? Um, yeah, it's like an eight fifty credit score, and like that would open up enough credit lines for you to you could damn near get an unlimited credit card. Like that's more than two million. <laughs> now someone's gonna stop you. <laughs> someone's <Right>. gonna. <laughs> oh. but, so somebody we wouldn't pick, pick that one, but it's like I guess the thing that would. Um, prevent me from grabbing that one is it's a credit game at that point. Like I'd rather have money in my pocket or money in my bank versus yeah. going the credit route. So people that are educated on like credit um, would go down that route. And then what the 2000. 2 million. Or I mean, yeah, yeah. 2 million. Um, it's, I don't know. It's it's the flashy route or whatever, and then that four K is that that long term, that long game. Like I ain't planning on dying anytime soon, so let's make that this money. Fun. Let's flip Week this one. money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. <laughs> oh, man. Have your have your moment. Well. Oh, so Go ahead. I always told my, my 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 family. I was like, if I ever won the uh, the lotto, mm -hmm. I was like, I would give my parents their million up front. I was like, with well, my sisters, I would, I would have to, I'd give y'all a payment plan. <laughs> y'all would get the million, <laughs> but it would be in increments. <laughs> For real. So I don't have to hear from you anymore. I don't want to hear from you <laughs> at all. <clears throat> Does that, your chick ain't come? What, what you calling me for? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Oh man. Well, you know, yeah, I mean, I guess it's just these money concepts and they're just different. Um, I think that was good. Um, that I definitely needed to laugh about the uh <laughs> about the MLM. Uh, <laughs> the MLMs and their awesome selling tactics. Um, guys, you guys have anything else you'd like to leave the people with? No. Nah. Don't fall for it, man. <laughs> yeah all right with that sorry. don't don't fall for it <laughs> great words from crazy chris um or lifestyle flashy whatever yeah, get it lifestyle. right man god damn uh, I, man. I don't know. anyways all right guys so it's another episode of logical crazy talk i'm your boy money mark here with i guess um lifestyle crash lifestyle like whatever chris and then um this tim 
Um, you guys you know we appreciate. Chris, that's all I keep Chris. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Lifestyle, li- lifestyle, <laughs> lifestyle flashy, Chris. Um, um, guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that cool stuff. Um, hopefully, um, you know, this will turn into some, and then we can, you know, get better mics and, you know, do all types of cool stuff. I don't know. Who knows? Sky's the limit. But anyways, like, share, subscribe. We have subscribe. better mics. <laughs> like, share, better mic. like, share, subscribe. <laughs> smash that <laughs> hit that like button um comment engage and you know this is logical crazy talk this is the fellas we out